I don't know what time of the day this is catching you. Excuse the boiler in the background. Um, welcome to the word of the week. What's your word, woman? Oh, me first, girl? Always. Okay. Ladies so, first. My word for this week Until is... they learn to submit. Oh, then they can stop whenever. And then it's the man to speak. I want to give you the opportunity. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> <laughs> so... My word for this week is consistency. Come on, girl. So I noticed that Christmas, New Year, that kind of season, that the whole routine, schedule, rhythm, it just doesn't exist after a certain period of time. And so I, I see even more so now the benefit of the consistency. So you start to see, I've started to see, the behavior difference in the children like mm. a bit more erratic because they're a bit more they're a bit more restless because they're not sleeping well and you know they've got more sugar they've got more sugar in their system oh you know you know parents you know that like you know this plight and so we're seeing the behavior changes and stuff and i think even for myself the consistency of my early morning wake up like mm. not getting up at exactly the same time or very close to that time um, has had its effects as well so but because I've been feeling myself I'm still full so I'm still able to maintain a certain level of organization and just my mind like having my mind set still um, because I'm already full but I can't stay there I need to I need to go back to the consistent early morning wake ups get get my study in get my my vip time with god in um planning and all that kind of stuff just the consistency of that just helps with the flow of my day it helps me to just feel better and yeah so consistency is my word for this week before. yeah i think it's consistent about sharing consistently consistency Consistently sharing consistency. <laughs> yeah, you did well. You did well. Thank you. What's your word for this week, hun? Okay. My one was small steps, great distances. So it's not a word; it's more of a phrase. But it just made me think. It made me think of a lot, a lot of things this week in terms of um, how do you eat an elephant one spoon at a time? You know. And uh, if you look after the pennies, takes care of the pounds, stuff like that. But all those all of those sayings are true. Like small steps, great distances. I was saying this like cause it, last week I was talking about um, always measuring backwards, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and this week I use the same same thing. If you if you can now do fifty press ups, but you started off doing ten a day or five every hour for the day that you was awake so you just did five press ups and you just continually build up the strength when you can do 20, 30, 50 it's the small steps, the great distances how you look after the small money how you invest the small money how you tithe the small money it determines how you do the same thing when you get big money okay. or bigger time. money wow. how you with your time like the time that you put into something just putting small bits of time consistently Gives you a stage where you are far, far greater than where you once were. Even if you literally put in, even if you literally put in two minutes or something every day, by the end of the week, you've done 14 minutes of what you wouldn't have done ordinarily. Yeah. Like, it's just, and it's literally just nothing. It's just, because you know, who really puts two minutes into something? You're at least going to give it five. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? But whatever it is that you do, it's to inspire you to keep going forward and obviously at this time of year everyone's like oh yeah i'm going to be doing this and i'm going to stay on it but generally by february and then definitely by march every most people have dropped off but if you were doing stuff before the year even comes in and now you're using the year as a trial just mm -hmm. as a trial period to see you'll see how far in distance you'll come you'll see how far in distance you'll come you'll cover so so great a distance over a period of time so small steps great distances was um was, is the one for me yeah, and 
from consistency. So they kind of work hand in hand. Would you say that works hand in hand? Yeah. yeah. Consistently taking small steps, you get great differences. Yeah, I see. I see what you did there. <laughs> yeah. like, we didn't even plan it. We didn't even plan it. Oh, this is great. Yeah. The, this, I think it's just it's just the it's just the call really. It's the action. Like you just gotta get stuff done. And you, you just do things consistently. Small, small. And you have big, re- big rewards, big results. Yeah, I agree. Um, and I keep hearing people talk about, I'm going to do this in 2024, which is what you're saying. Who cares? 2024, 2024. You've been doing we, it since 19. But we. <laughs> 2019 or 19 years old, depending on how old you are. <laughs> but what Dad was saying was like, if we start now, then we just, it's just something that we, we just move into the new year with this thing. So consistency being one of the things, our non-negotiables being another thing, um, gratitude being another thing, mm. and the small steps, big distances being another thing. We're starting that now so that we can go into the new year with these things. Like, and so we're not thinking about it later on. And it's not going to be anything hard. It's not anything... It's nothing complicated. Mm. And so I guess we just want to encourage you all to... If you want to soar in 2024... Oh, wow. Oh, yeah! That just... There's... there's something like, But for real, there's so much more on the other side for you. But when's the best time to start anything? They say, you know, 20 years ago to plant a tree or whatever it is. But it doesn't... It doesn't make a difference. Like, you, you didn't do it 20 years ago. The best... The second best time is... Now. Right now. Right now. So don't wait for 2024. Now. Immediately. Right now. 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 What she said, I agree. <laughs> I concur. Now what Nick said is um, is bang on.